Odell Beckham Jr. is coming back to the AFC North. Hi again, everyone, and welcome into Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com, and the star receiver, well, he's agreed to a deal, expected to sign a $15 million one-year contract with the Baltimore Ravens with the chance to make up the $3 million in incentives. And look, I know a lot of people are clowning this deal. Wanted to give you my thoughts, which is why you should hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and we have other videos, including a mock draft reaction video coming your way. Bengals on the brain this week, less than three weeks until the NFL draft. Excited for it, and let's dive into this OBJ thing, because on one hand, people are clowning the Ravens, because they're committing $15 million at least to a guy who's coming off of his second ACL injury, missed all of last season, and yet at the same time, I like the signing. And here's why. Because the Ravens are desperate. And when you're desperate, you have to do things to try to maintain your your level of play. And the way to do that would be keep Lamar Jackson. And so how do you bridge that gap? Well, maybe it is going out and getting the best receiver still available on the market. And that's what Odell Beckham Jr. is. You know, DeAndre Hopkins hasn't been released and they can't bank on that. In, instead, they said, all right, let's go get OBJ, and hopefully we can smooth things over with Lamar. And so that alone, if it helps them smooth things over with Lamar and keep Lamar in Baltimore long term, that alone is worth it for the Ravens. But there is also a chance that Odell Beckham Jr. is productive, that Odell Beckham Jr. does combine with Rashad Bateman or whoever they draft, or maybe they do go after another free agent receiver or whatever the case is, you know, if Hopkins gets released. And the Ravens have uh, threats there. So I get people clowning it like, man, 30-year-old receiver, often injured, all of those things. At the same time, I get what the Ravens are doing, and it makes sense to me because I've been critical of them for not putting enough weapons around Lamar Jackson. That said, I mentioned the word desperation. This feels desperate to me. This feels much like the Patriots a few years ago. Their offense was struggling, and they traded for Josh Gordon. And it was like, oh, Josh Gordon on the Patriots. No, no, not dedicated. All of those issues just not going to happen. The Patriots were trying to midseason piece things together. It didn't work. Antonio Brown was also a desperate move by the Patriots. So you could use either one of those. And Brown worked to a degree uh, for a game, of course. And, uh, and then he got cut, but he worked in Tampa with Tom Brady. That said, this is desperate. And if you're the Bengals... If you're a Bengals fan, looking at it, you're like, man, it's that bad with Lamar, huh? You want to show him, hey, we're willing to get you weapons. Odell, who hasn't had a 1,000-yard receiving season since 2019, and that was the Freddie Kitchens year in, in Cleveland, and we know really how that went. One of the Bengals' two wins was against that Freddie Kitchens-led Browns team. And look, I think Odell is a really good player, and – at this stage, he's probably more of a compliment than anything. The Jets felt like the best fit for him, but he ends up in Baltimore. To me, I don't think it really moves the needle much, but it could if it keeps Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. So when you're talking about the Bengals' biggest rival, I think the Ravens, well, they have a better shot now to keep Lamar Jackson long-term than they did a few days ago, but this is certainly a desperate move by John Harbaugh and company. For more, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and stay tuned because we got more coming your way. Bengal centric videos coming your way, of course. I just wanted to give you my thoughts, my three cents on OBJ. For Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine signing off for now on CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk.